more damage. Um, Hobby Lobby happened. Hobby Lobby and a little bit of Target. So I figured I would just show you guys really quick and then I'll show you where things end up going. But I got these big pillows for our um, outdoor furniture. They were half off. So let's see. These were like $19.99. Then I got this one, it was half off as well. I thought it would look so cute between those two. So it was, let's see, 12 something. <laughs> um, I got this super adorable like flower bin that I think I'm gonna put somewhere on our counter. I'm hoping I'm not over cluttering our counter, so I'm gonna get the stuff put out and see how it looks. No, don't leave the pillows alone, please. Um, so yeah, this is super cute. And then, <laughs> he's so curious. Bless you, Miller. Um, I got this. I loved it. It says, grateful, blessed, and coffee obsessed. Now he's going to chew on the bone. <laughs> Get your bone, Moses. Get your bone. You too, Charles. Anyway, okay. Clearly, I'm obsessed with my dogs and coffee, but... I thought that was super duper cute. I don't know if we'll actually use the cups. They'll probably stay decor, but. Um, so then this stuff, oh, and let's see. This was $19.99, and this was, I don't think these were on sale. Um, $29.99, which is actually a little steep for that, I gotta say. But maybe I'll check the receipt. Maybe that one was half off too. Um, then I got, let's see, I should have entered the bag first. I got these two candlesticks. I think I'm gonna use these somewhere in our bedroom. Um, that was my plan. In this lighting, they look like they're different colors. That's really weird. I actually do think that this one is more whitewashed than that one. And I just realized that. Oh well, okay. <laughs> then I got a little set of two candles to go on them, $5.99. These were $21.99. Then, I thought this is so cute, me TP, text me, I'll put that in our spare bathroom. This was only $7.99. Then, lastly from Hobby Lobby, I got these, how cute are these? to hang outside the door. Oh my, they're so cute. $17.99. So, not bad. And then that was everything from Hobby Lobby. And then I did get, I've been looking at this every single time I go to Target. It's the Hearth and Hand like cake stand. Um, it's just so cute. I've been doing a lot of baking lately, and I really want a cute stand to display um, what I make. So, that was today's loot. Alright, so we're looking a little tired and frumpy now, but that's okay. That's real life. Um, I wanted to show you guys, hey, this lighting's really bad. Um, I wanted to show you guys where I ended up putting the stuff that I got at Hobby Lobby today. So let's go ahead and do that. The pillows, they're probably messed up now because we sat on them. Oh, too bad. I put them out here on this couch. I need to get some pillows for these chairs and that will look really cute. Um, but I wasn't sure what I wanted to get for these. So for now, we just got the couch. Really need to dust that end table. That's gross. Um, but when we come inside, there's the laundry I need to fold. I put that flower thing up there. I know I could use it for actual flower, but I wanted it more for decor um, than anything. So then over here by the coffee pot, I put those cups. I didn't realize these are kind of more of an off white and this is like a really bright white. So it does contrast a little bit, but that's okay. Let's go to the bathroom. So this is our spare bathroom. We want to totally remodel this bathroom. Um, 
So I don't want to go too overboard decorating it since we're going to rip some things down, but I put those cute little um, like metal um, male and female signs in here. There's the little knee TP text me sign. And what else? So if you come into our room, there are those two candle holders. Let's see. Yeah. So I think that looks super cute. All right. I have to like bend down. Sorry the lighting in here isn't great. I had a heck of a time getting an angle this angle right for you guys to do this but this is my Marion by John Renault and I wanted to show you guys an updated how I wash my synthetic wigs because to be honest it's entirely different from how I was doing it before I have learned a little bit more and um, I've noticed that my wigs are washing and drying nicer since doing it this way so I wanted to share it with you guys um, so what you need to have ready to do this I should say you need to have a towel ready this is not a cute angle of me, but it's gonna have to do. <laughs> and then you wanna have your products ready. So what I use is the John Renault Synthetic um, Fiber Care System. So I have the cleanser, the conditioning spray, and my detangler. So, and then I have a big wide tooth comb. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is spritz a little bit of detangler on her. Do like four pumps, and then you're gonna brush her out. You don't want to brush your wig out. <laughs> get way down here. You don't want to wash her with a bunch of tangles in her. You want to get the tangles out first. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's do that, and then I'll show you how we wash her. Starting at the ends, brush slowly and work your way up, gently. So now that she's all brushed out, we are going to actually do the washing part. So what I did in my last video was I filled up a sink and I put the um, conditioner in there. You guys, I'm so sorry this lighting is so terrible. I put the conditioner in there and then I let her soak for about five minutes. I do like the complete opposite now. So now what I've learned is that you want to keep your hand in her and you want to hold the wig upright and you want to keep the fibers going in the direction that they are supposed to go or that they go when you would wear her. So you want to keep the fibers going that direction and you want to actually just use your hand and you want to work the shampoo through and get it all, um, you know, get it all through there, get all parts of the wig. And then even when you rinse the conditioner out, I know my sink is not super deep, so I'm gonna do my best, but you stay, you hold her upright, and you let the water run through the hair in the direction that the hair naturally wants to go. And still using a cool water. Now that we've got the wig uh, wet all the way through, we're gonna take the shampoo, conditioner, I think I called it a cleanser earlier. Um, <laughs> this is not skincare, this is wig care. But what is that called? Anyway, you really do not need much. I'm literally putting like, as you can see, it's like not even the size of a quarter. Um, and I'm gonna take this, get it in my fingers, and I'm just gonna work it all through her. You can add more if you need, but I would start out with less and you'd be surprised how far it might go um, before you just put a lot of product in it because you don't want to do so much and then you think you've got it all rinsed out and you actually don't because then you're just going to get product built up in your wig. Okay, 
So now I think it is thoroughly worked through her. Um, so now we're gonna rinse her out again, holding it upright as best as I can, um, just like before when we got it all wet. I sometimes take it too because the hairs are still going downward um, and I'll flip it and I'll let some water run through it from the side of the cap just to give the cap a good rinse too and just really help make sure that I'm getting all of that shampoo rinsed out. I think we've got that shampoo all thoroughly rinsed out. So this is where um, gently I squeeze a tiny bit of the water out, very gently. But I take my towel and I lay it out and I will lay my wig in there. And then ever so gently, I will just wrap her up and um, pat some of that excess water out. Once you've done that, you've got your, <laughs> what looks like a wet little puppy dog. And as you can see, I'm still holding it that same way with my hand in it, palm up. Um, and you're gonna take your conditioning spray and spray three to five pumps. I can't help it, I always do five because I just really wanna feel like it's super conditioned. <laughs> want to do that take your wide tooth comb and brush her out starting at the ends for the longest time I used to hear really mixed answers on whether you are supposed to brush your synthetic wigs out when they're wet. Um, I do. I do brush them when they're wet, but only with a really wide tooth comb and really gently. Um, because if you think about it, if you don't brush them out, if there is any tangles after you wash it or you set it on the wig head to dry weird, um, it's going to dry that way. So you want to brush it out um, before you store it to dry. Okay. All right. Let's take her into my office where she's gonna dry. Ignore the mess behind me, but if you guys remember from my first video that I made, I was laying my wigs out on a bed on a towel to dry, which I don't think is a terrible way to dry them still. Um, but I could see how it could make them dry possibly a little flat or just funky. Um, but the reason I was doing that was because I only had the big styrofoam white wig heads and I was always told that you don't want to stretch your wet wig cap out over one of those because it'll stretch your wig cap out, which makes perfect sense, right? So that's why I never did that. But now I have one of these and it is a wire wig stand. This is also um, from John Renault, but you can get these probably like anywhere, Amazon, um, just, I'm sure they're all over the place online. But um, these won't stretch your wig out because you're not stretching it out over this big cap. These just kind of, lay gently over the top and it allows air throw air flow to go through it because it's all hollow it's just a wire wig stand so you take your wig and you gently place it on there make sure your lace is straight and flat because um your lace can dry 
strange too. And if it does that, it's not going to lay on your forehead right. Um, so make sure that your lace is straight. And as you can see, I didn't have to like stretch it. It's just hanging gently on there. So it's not going to stretch the cap out, which I really don't want my Marian to be stretched out because she's already a tiny bit big for me because um, she's an average size and I wear petite. So what I do just to keep my desk from getting all wet is I open the towel up and I set my wig on the towel. I'll put her forward a tiny bit more. And she will stay like this until she dries. So that is how I do it now. So you guys, that is gonna wrap up, conclude uh, this video, whatever you wanna call it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it gave you either some decorating motivation or you learned uh, something about how to wash your wigs. So either way, I hope you got something out of it. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, come hang out with me again. Um, and thank you for watching. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.